A very good afternoon to you and many thanks for joining us on Citizen Atuan. I am Kirigo Ngarwa. We start our bulletin with the latest from Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, where normalcy has returned to the airport after the Wednesday dawn of fire. So far, the airport has received 21 international and local flights since full operations resumed last night at midnight. Some passengers are, however, complaining of delays. Now, for more information, we join our reporter Jackie Maribe, who's live from the JKIA. A very good afternoon afternoon to you Jackie kindly give us an update on what's going on on your end indeed a very good afternoon to you Kirigo uh, we are still live at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport where some sense of normalcy has uh, come back to the airport operations have resumed but as you can see behind me if my cameraman can just show you some of these pictures we are seeing a backlog uh, in terms of passengers who are still here, they appear to somewhat be stranded. They were informed that they should uh, get in touch with their specific airlines, but some that we were able to speak to are saying that uh, they tried to get in touch with their airlines. They're still experiencing uh, some delays, and so we are seeing a, a somewhat a backlog of passengers who are trying to get their flights. Some have been here from early morning and they still haven't been able to go. But as far as the Kenya Airports Authority is concerned and the government is concerned, they're saying that operation has been normalized as at now. So for now, what passengers need to do is just to get in touch with their specific airlines. Uh, we were able to speak to some of them earlier and they told us that they have uh, been stranded in this country. Uh, some were transit, on transit to other countries. So for the past three days, they still have been here. They got in touch with uh, their airlines. They were told to come in the morning. Some had 7 a.m. flights, 6 a.m. flights, until now they are here. But what we do understand is that operations have been normalized. We are expecting uh, from the Interior Ministry, they are going to give a news conference on the latest update. Now, Kirigo, the National Security Council was able to meet President Uhuru Kenyatta and his deputy William Ruth yesterday and we understand there was a meeting again last night on the situation here at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. You will recall that President Barack Obama was able to call President Kenyatta and offered him his support. Uh, yesterday we were able to see a couple of uh, FBI agents here at the airport. They're trying to help assist uh, in the investigations and we do understand that they are looking into three key areas. They are looking at the possibility that it may just have been an accident. They're looking into the possibility that it could have been arson or it could have been an act of terrorism. We still don't know what the exact cause of the fire here was, but they are looking into these three possibilities. That is the latest that we do have. But for now, Kirigo, we will still be here camped at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport and give you information as at when we get it. Kirigo. All right, thank you very much, Jackie Maribe, for that. Speaking to Jackie Maribe, who's at the airport, where who, and she tells us uh, things are back to normal at uh, the airport. <coughs> but like she said, it's important to check with your airline to confirm if your flight is leaving before you go to the airport uh, in order to avoid the traffic uh, build-up, snarl-up that we have seen uh, there. And like she said, we will be keeping you updated with what uh, goes on on that end. And still on matters of fire, Nairobi County Women Representative Rachel Shebe is accusing the Nairobi County government of allegedly selling all land allocated to fire stations, making it difficult for the city to combat fire disasters. Speaking at Kariokor's social hall while addressing CDF committee members, Shebesh said the JKIA fire would not have spread as fast as it did if the fire stations were in all the city constituencies. She observed that every constituency within Nairobi had been allocated land for a fire station which allegedly had been sold, rather has been sold, to private developers. I feel a bit disappointed as a county because uh, we look like we are not prepared for disaster. We are supposed to be the top-notch county prepared for disaster. We let the country down as a county and therefore we will be looking to see what we can do to improve the fire and disaster response of Nairobi County. I am sure we will be sitting together soon as the elected members of Nairobi and with the governor to see how we can ensure that this kind of embarrassment does not happen again. 
a manager at the George Williamson Tea Factory, David Birch, and his wife, F.P. Chorotich, were last night killed by a gang that broke into their home in Kapchuroa, Nandi County. Also killed was a couple's night guard. The gangsters reportedly broke into the couple's compound at around 10.30 p.m. and strangled the guard before making their way into the main house where they killed the couple. A colleague who responded to the sound of gunshots was shot and injured as the gangsters escaped into the tea bushes. Investigations are underway. The Kenya Police Service is now set to launch community policing in all counties in a bid to boost national security. The Inspector General of Police, David Kimayo, says the war on crime can only be won through police citizens a partnership. Kimayo made the remarks this morning at a ceremony to award police stations based on performance. Parkland's police station emerged the best performer countrywide. We have um, now embarked on the reforms of the police, given that we are now implementing the Constitution of Kenya and the enabling legislation, that is the National Police Service Act, the National Police Service Commission Act, the uh, AIBO Act, and other various legislation that came out of our Constitution as far as the issue of policing and also security is concerned. We want to roll out to all our various police stations on issues of community policing and the reforms as well. We want to ensure that members of public has some kind of a collaboration or partnership with the police in such a way that they move and uh, do a number of things together as a team when they want to do their policing within the environment. A section of leaders from Oranga County led by the Senate Deputy Speaker Kembi Gitura have asked the government to recognize and honor fallen heroes. Speaking during the memorial service of the late Dr. Yekonyo Keanu in Moranga, the leaders called on the national government and county governments to honor the departed heroes by creating a hero's corner in different parts of the country. They also asked the government to honor the leaving heroes rather than appreciating them after they are dead. The leaders donated blankets to the elderly with the help over Hadi Kenya. So all those heroes are the people we must continue to think about as we proceed towards celebrating 50 years of independence. What do we have to show for it? What shall we show for it? Yes, we've done very great things in this country. We've made great strides in those 50 years. But yes, socially, what have we done to recognize the people who made sure that we are here where we are today because of them? But it's good that we as leaders and as a, na a nation, we remember that we have heroes and who we need to celebrate when they are alive. We need to appreciate. And one mainly, uh, Kenneth Jido Matiba, Muslims across the country are celebrating Eid al-Fitr today, marking the end of the holy month of Ramadan. The celebrations, which are usually held after a crescent moon is sighted, were also held in various parts of the country yesterday. A sound that indicates the end of the holy month of Ramadan. Muslims gathered at the Bilali Mosque in Nairobi South Sea to thank Allah for enabling them to mark the breaking of the fast. Even the young ones were not left behind. It was the same case in Mombasa County where Muslims congregated in various mosques, including Ziwani Mosque, to give thanks to Allah for a month that many describe as full of blessings. Allahu Akbar. The ceremony also provides a moment of interaction between leaders and the common Mwananchi. 
na umoja wetu kama waislamu wa Kenya ni bora zaidi kuliko kuweka umoja wa nchi za nje tunataka kuwakumbuka wale ndugu zetu ambao walisafirishwa kiharamu ki mpaka uh, Kampala na yule ndugu yetu Abdul Madi ambaye yuko Guantanamo kwamba sisi tunahimiza serikali ya Uhuru Kenyatta kama waweze kuliingilia ile jambo kati ili watelekeleze haki ili waweze kuwaregesha ndugu zetu hawa the celebrations are still ongoing across the country well time to catch a breather now but i'll be back with sports news don't go too far